All right, is there new life in FANG stocks? Here now is John Ede, president of Argus Research. And John, we've seen a couple of sell-off in FANG stocks over the past couple of months, but Netflix with their latest earnings adding 5.2 million subscribers in the quarter. Expectations were for 3.2 million. Is there new life in FANG? Well, uh, terrific quarter for uh, Netflix, Scott. Um, I think they're really benefiting from their international expansion, also their original programming. Mm -hmm. And keep in mind that the second quarter is, is usually seasonally weak for them. So great numbers, and you expect those kind of great numbers when you're trading at 200 plus times earnings. So the stock is gonna pop this morning, but still hesitate to have people try to jump on this bandwagon here at these levels. Yeah, because at 200 times earnings, I mean, you have to wonder if that chicken is going to come home to roost at some point soon. Right. Uh, and, and in the first quarter, they didn't make their uh, subscriber estimate, subscriber gain estimate. Sure. So they don't always get the job done. And we've also been seeing a rotation out of you know tech stocks lately and into financials. What did you make of all the recent bank earnings? Trading revenue, especially at Goldman Sachs, JP Morgan City was not great this time around. Right. The trading wasn't that good, but the lending uh, is, is a, a real bright spot. Mm. Benefiting from the Federal Reserve, you know, raising some of the short-term interest rates, benefiting from good jobs growth, from a good housing market. So the, the big lenders, the, the Wells, the PNCs, the JP Morgans, uh, that aren't as focused on trading are doing really well. All right, we'll be watching how this all plays out. Johnny, thanks so much for joining us. Thanks, Scott. All right, I'm Scott Gam, and you're watching The Street.